Um, I want to get on as well. You were calling on the Foreign Minister, Julie Bishop, to do with this um, case. Two Australian businessmen apparently caught up in um, mining activities in North Korea, which could actually breach UN sanctions against that country. You said the AFP hasn't been called in to investigate, and it should be. I want to ask you, because my understanding is these sorts of cases are usually referred, but at the same time that referral would not be made public. How do you know this case hasn't been referred? Well, um, there have been no actions uh, taken against the, these two individuals since the material first surfaced two years ago, and now we've got two um, UN officials or ex-UN officials saying that uh, Australia is trading with entities in North Korea that are sanctioned uh, and helping them with mining activities that will assist North Korea's uh, arms industry. Right. North Korea is an, is an extremely alarming regime. And no, and we no should, one we should debate that, yeah. but you say no action's been taken. How do you know there's been no investigation launched or referral made? Uh, I, I don't know that there's been no uh, action taken by the AFP, but uh, the Foreign Minister has not announced any action. Not, uh, not announced, but maybe it wasn't made public. Have you sought a briefing from either the Foreign Minister's office the, the, or Tanya Plibersek's office? The, the, Tanya Plibersek's office has sought a briefing from the Foreign Minister's office about this and we know nothing about any action by the Foreign Minister to stop Australians sanction busting with North Korea. We should be leading uh, on the front foot with this. It should be something that's in the government rhetoric. I mean we're saying nothing about sanctions with Iran. Now it seems we're going soft on sanctions with North Korea. All I'm saying is, mm. Tom, is that you know Australia would take these things very seriously. We cannot be involved in helping the North Korean regime uh, by uh, f organising mining in North Korea that will help them fund their arms industry. So Tanya Plibersek's office has sought a briefing from Julie Bishops. When was that made, that, that request? Um, I understand in the last few days. So you don't actually know yet whether there could be this AFP investigation? As I said, my understanding is it's a very sensitive issue. If there were right now a referral already made, an investigation, they wouldn't actually tell us and that would be pretty standard. Um, well, I, d I, I don't understand why that would be. I think that, you know, in, in these kinds of issues of uh, breaking of UN sanctions, you've got to have some uh, public profile and I think that the, the Foreign Minister should be saying something about people um, you know, you can say something about these people uh, or individuals doing this kind of thing without necessarily interfering with a, 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 a federal police investigation. But, you know, we should be leading on the front foot with rhetoric saying that this is, just like Malcolm Turnbull said, stuff about the banks, the Foreign Minister should be saying something about individuals or firms trying to deal with North Korea. Even while though, you're just having an investigation, you don't want to tip people off sometimes, do you? You don't well, knock you, on someone's door and you say... You wouldn't have to be looking. rocket scientists. Uh, I'm sorry to use that word as regards North Korea, but... Um, to work out that over the last two years people were looking into them. I mean, this has been in the in the media for for the last two years that uh, you know but some Australian individuals are alleged. There is new evidence, so we don't know whether this new evidence has already triggered a, a referral, whether there might have been an ongoing investigation. I, I mean, you don't know, do you, whether there has been that investigation? Uh, and, and I, I don't know whether there's an investigation being take been taken. Right. But I think the Australian government should be on the front foot calling for uh, um, both the Department of Foreign Affairs and the AFP to be looking into this because it's a very serious uh, violation. Uh, we'll be helping that regime um, and it's a, a regime that is after all um, threatening to use atomic bombs okay. against the United States.